Hello, welcome back to the St James YouTube channel. My name is Ruth, I am a youth worker here. We've been looking at the Lord's Prayer for the past few weeks now and we are on to the line, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. So today we will be looking a little bit about forgiveness. There's two halves to this, right? It says, forgive us our sins as, though, as we forgive those who sin against us. And one is great and one sucks. <laughs> Let's be honest, one sucks. So the first part is forgive us our sins. We know that Jesus died on the cross to save our sins and that's amazing, you know? We do things wrong all the time and we can apologise to God and God is as if it never happened and that is such a powerful, important thing that we can't underestimate the importance of. Did I say importance like five times during that sentence? But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. It's kind of easy to be like please forgive me I shouldn't have done this but the next part is as we forgive those who sin against us now I'm going to tell you a story this is actually a really horrible story it's about a young man called Anthony Walker I've got my laptop down here who was a I think it's 18 and he unfortunately was killed in Liverpool in a racially provoked attack so he was killed because he was black and obviously that is horrible, horrendous. And I think this past year, especially, we've all woken up to the racism that goes on all across the world. This was in 2005, so 15 years ago now. However, it's the comments of his mother and his sister, which I wanted to talk to you about during the trial. So while they're reliving everything about their son's death, his mum was asked, do you forgive them? And she said, do I forgive them? At the point of death, Jesus said, I forgive them because they don't know what they did. I've got to forgive them. I still forgive them. My family and I still stand by what we believe, forgiveness. It's been real hard going, but I feel justice has been done and I'm sure they will get the maximum sentence. And she later said, we have no choice but to live on for Anthony. Each one of us will take a piece with him and carry on his life. There is so much there, which is crazy to me. So this woman, unfortunately, had one of the worst things happen to her. And she looked those killers in the face during court and she later said that she forgave them. So what does that mean? Does that mean that they're best friends and everything's great? Of course not. Like, you can forgive. Ugh, that phrase, you can forgive, but you can't forget. I don't like that, but it's kind of accurate, you know? Forgiveness isn't about forgetting and making everything okay again. Forgiveness is taking that weight off your shoulders. When you forgive someone, more often than not, it's because you need to let go of that anger and that hurt and move on. It's not about that other person knowing that you're not mad at them anymore. It could be about that, but it is mainly about you. And it's just blows my mind that they have been so forgiving of these that doesn't mean she doesn't want them in jail she said that she wants them to have a maximum sentence so i don't know what that is but that will be many 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 years in jail for killing her son which is fair enough and valid but she's letting go of that hurt and that is an amazing thing that is really hard to understand especially if you've not been in that situation she lent on god to find the strength to forgive these people who killed her son. We can ask God to help us. If there are people in your life that you know that you need to forgive, you don't need to tell them you've forgiven them. I think it's really important to take that weight off your shoulders. Sometimes it feels like you have a backpack on and every time something happens where you need to forgive someone, maybe it's one thing happens and that's one brick in your backpack and then another brick and another brick and another brick and another brick. That backpack is gonna get so heavy you get tired, you're going to get a bad back, it's not going to be pleasant. And the more and more and more this builds up, the worse and worse it gets. But by forgiving people, what we're doing is we're taking a brick out and we're handing it to God. And we're saying, God, this is, this is not my thing anymore. I am done worrying, I'm done stressing, feeling mad. It's done. And that's what forgiveness is. Forgiveness isn't just getting rid of all of it, if it's handing it to God. Does that make sense? I hope so. Stick with it. There, if there are people in your life who you are struggling to forgive, it might take time. Um, ask God for help. I think that would genuinely 
help make you feel better. Um, clearly we don't, I don't know what's going on in all of your lives all of the time, but just know that, that God is there and God knows what's going on in your life all of the time and you're not alone especially when it comes to this kind of thing because I know that this is really difficult and I don't know what everyone's gone through. Forgiveness is important. I think what um, Anthony Walker's mum said, Jesus said that he forgave the people who killed him and that is huge and that Jesus is the example of how we should live and it's not easy for us because we're not Jesus obviously. So we aspire to live like Jesus and Jesus forgave the very people who killed him. Jesus forgives us for everything that we do. We need to find that strength and we can use that and make our lives a little bit better. I think that's kind of it. Um, I find that story really inspiring because clearly it is such a tragedy. You know, that person should be alive today. That's the reality of the fact. However, we can draw upon the strength that his mum and his sister had of being so public with their forgiveness. You may or may not have heard that we have been playing some Among Us. I am obsessed. It is the best game. I play it with all my friends and I am brilliant, except I never ever get to be the imposter. Like I think I've been it three times and I've probably played it for many, many, many hours, all in all. So we will be playing some more of that soon. Uh, tell your parents to check on their emails because there'll be emails going out about it. And we would love to see you. I would love to have you there. And I would love to try and kill you when I'm the imposter. Can I say that? I don't know. I hope there's not people watching who don't understand the game. I've got myself into a little hole here. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Next time will be the next line. We must be going to the end of the Lord's Prayer. So that's it. See you soon. Goodbye.